Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial on MASH. We got a request on our website for how to get around your dashboard, how to reg register an account as a seller and then what it looks like once you've done that. So what I'm going to do is firstly show you how to register an account as a seller and then we'll delve into uh, what happens after that. So to set up your account, the first thing to do is to register one and that's as simple as going to your uh, to the register button, register your email address. So I'm going to register a, a, um, just a random email address. And here we go. And we'll give myself a bit of a password there. It says it's weak, let me give a better one. Okay, and I'm going to be a vendor. So a vendor is your seller. So I'm just going to set up a, a random account. So it's going to be my name. I'm going to call it the best teacher ever. And let's uh, just give that the shop role. You can call it whatever you want, but people going to your store will need to go mash.ie slash store and the name of your source, so whatever you want to call your shop. That's what you, that's where the, the address needs to do there. And I agree the shop name, uh, it might be a good idea then to make that look a bit better than that. Cause I think the, the best, uh, let's make that look nice. The best teacher ever. Very humble this teacher is going to be. Um, let's have a go with that. Brilliant. And uh, you don't have to put a, it does say a phone number. Uh, now, uh, that's something you can put in if you want. It's just for us to be able to contact you in an emergency. So I'm going to put a fake number in here. And if you really don't want us contacting you, you can always put a fake number in there, Tara. We don't really mind. Uh, we usually don't. We've never contacted anyone by phone yet. Right. Once you do that, you register it and you just wait. There we go. So what it asks you to do is to uh, create your own marketplace. I always think it's a good idea to do that. I wouldn't go to, you don't have to, but I'd suggest you do uh, go through the little wizard that shows up here. So we'll click on it, let's go. So it asks you how many products you want per page. So you could be creating loads, 10 is absolutely fine. You don't have to put an address or anything like that. You can if you want. I usually just put our country because most people probably don't, I suppose you probably don't want most people knowing where you live. And it asks for a state name. I'm gonna put where we're based in Carlos, so that'll do. And do I want my email to be shown? Well, in this case, I don't. So I'm gonna continue. Then I need to find out how do I want to get paid. Well, this is my PayPal account, let's say. So I'm going to pretend that's my PayPal account. I'm going to, you would continue when you put your PayPal account. That's how you get paid. So make sure you put in the correct PayPal account there. I obviously, this is a test account, so I don't want it to pay it, so I'm skipping that step. And then it says my store is ready. Simple as that. And asks then for you to go to your store dashboard. Okay, this is what you'll see once you uh, have registered and when you log in, this is where you want to be. You get there to buy my account and then, and basically you've got various options here. Your dashboard tells you how many sales you've got, how much you're earning, how many uh, views of your page, that's your store that people have seen, how many orders you've had, what sales you've had this month, uh, any announcements that we send you, they always come here. Now they come to your email, but they also get sent here. All your orders, a summary of those, any reviews that you have, any products that you have, how many are live, how many are offline, how many are pending review. And you can add products then as well. You can have a look at your products that you've put up. Um, now obviously I've put none up here, but to add a new product, you click add new project, follow the prompts, any orders you've received. So you can see a big list of all your products you've received. Obviously I've none, any that are completed, how many are processing, how many are on hold, how many are pending. Just a word on pending orders. That's something we manually have to clear. Basically that will only come up if somebody put something in their cart, went to pay and then changed their mind at the last minute. Um, it's useful, just a little hint, that if you see those pending orders, you might, uh, you'll see their email address will come up, the uh, customer's email address. You might email them to send them, hey, I noticed you were looking at my product um, and, and so on, but you, you know, that's a marketing tip there for you. You can look at coupons, you can create coupons for, uh, for your products. So let's say you create this product um, that you really like, you can offer 50% off for a certain amount of time. You get reports on all the various um, sales you've made over the month and so on. So it's kind of handy uh, if there's five categories there, an overview, sales by day, top selling, top earning, a statement if you need one, any reviews that you've had. So again, uh, anyone who's reviewed you, you can um, have a look at that um, and you can approve, is, how many have been approved, how many are pending and you can approve um, any, any um, uh, reviews that come into you, uh, which is fine. Um, let's see, you can uh, then 
uh, withdraw money. Uh, well, actually, you can't really withdraw money uh, uh, anymore. Uh, but every two weeks, we send you um, if you have enough uh, money in your account. So if you have enough, 20 euros are minimum uh, withdrawal. If you have more than 20 euro in your account, we automatically send you uh, whatever balance you have uh, to the nearest euro to your account. So. Um, if you, uh, my current balance here is zero, obviously, because I haven't done anything. Uh, so every two weeks that happens. Uh, then there's this thing called followers. So if you have a favorite, um, if you have a favorite, uh, so, uh, um, a favorite uh, seller that you like to buy from, you can um, click on uh, that uh, seller um, and follow them. So, uh, so you can see your followers as well. So you don't have any followers. Obviously, I don't have any followers because I haven't got any. And the next thing then, I suppose, which is probably the most important thing for uh, people when they start off, is your settings. You should have a banner, I'd, uh, the 600 by 400 banner. I always use Canva um, to create banners. So if you can create a 600 by 400 uh, banner, upload it there. It'll make your store look very pretty. It'll make it look really nice. There's the store name. You can always change at any time. You can have a profile photo if you want to. So again, find a nice picture of yourself. Um, and that will become your profile picture. Always a good idea to do these things because it makes your store look more attractive. You can change the number of products per store. Uh, you can put in your address if you really want to. As I said, most people don't. You can show your email address. You can enable the tab on a product as page, single page view. I'd advise ticking that. Uh, there's a map kind of thing which we don't use because obviously you haven't put in an address. Um, and then you actually can have um, opening hours and closing hours and obviously because you're an online business you're probably never closed but sometimes there might be a time where you just don't open now if you close your store on a certain day your products won't show up on that uh, on the, on mash so just be careful that i would always i would keep them all open to be honest with you and um, if you want to go on a holiday so if we're all entitled to a holiday and you might not want to be looking at mash particularly during the summer holidays you might actually close your shop for a short amount of time uh, so you can do that um, you can enable the store-wide discount say you want 50 percent of everything your story you can click on that uh, and you can create your own biography about who you are what you're doing and everything else we'd also always advise uh, you to do that that's the settings there so a lot of settings to do but quite useful there's a few other settings there your payment that's for your paypal um, account your social profile this is where you can add facebook instagram pinterest all your various social media accounts we always always recommend that you have as many so uh, as many social media accounts as you can because um uh, basically it helps people find you more easily and uh, finally store seo uh, that's uh, search engine optimization so search engines can find you better uh, you can create uh, uh, things here that will help people find you more easily so they're just things to be helpful this uh, lets you visit your store i'll show you that in, in last uh, this lets you edit your actual uh, details your accounts your username and your password and this logs you out so we'll visit your store this is basically the last thing i'll show you um, and my whirlwind kind of things. So this is what my account looks like. The best teacher ever. I've, uh, I should change this to something prettier. Um, this is a blank thing as well, and I have no products yet. That's pretty much it. That is, uh, people can send you messages uh, via via this page as well. That's your store page, and um, that's kind of it for the moment. Uh, so I hope that was a useful whirlwind uh, stop tour of Mash as a seller signing up, and I hope you do really well with all your sales.